How are you doing? Yeah, this is? Yeah, how's it going? Were you watching Glory the weekend? Oh, I was, yeah. Watching the rain as Oh, something special. Brilliant. He's an impressive fighter, isn't he? Yeah, he's very good. Some of the stuff we're going to be doing today is kind of related to what Rain is and it's fine with the defensive side kicking back on him. So we're going to be doing that. So basically, today, I'm David Heffern, as you know, I'm the kickboxing coach for Ireland, and what we work on is a lot of skill acquisition and improving. Okay, okay. so today's session is going to be about improving your skill set. Yeah. Okay, that's the, the whole idea. What I want you to do today is relax and don't be afraid to ask any questions. Okay. Okay. Any question you want regarding anything as you walk through the program, let me know. The session should take between 15 and 20 minutes. It'll start off by having a look at what you can do, okay? And uh, then we'll go on to what an elite athlete or maybe someone that's elite at that particular technique uh, can do. Yeah. We'll have a look at your technique, we'll improve that technique. I mean, you'll improve it, yeah. I'll help you. And um, then we'll reset the video, have a look at it again. And then at the final, at the end of the day, we're gonna have an improved technique with some culture cues. And then I'm going to set you a program that you're going to work on before you see me again. Right. How's that sound? Yeah, that sounds great. Okay, right, let's yeah. do this. I'm going to get to your... You and your coach. The, the, you remember this? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so basically, we're going to look at some of the skills. Handwork, excellent. No issues there. Kicking, again, very good good technique, good skills. Uh, your coach is very happy and you're quite confident in your kicking ability. Yeah. Some of the defensive work you seem to be a little bit lacking in. Or a bit maybe not sure of how to do it. Is that would that be right? Stopping people blitzing at me in particular, just being able to counter it. Okay, and so that's one of the things that you highlighted here as well. Yeah. You highlight the fact that you you found it difficult with the defensive side kick, you weren't caught. So that's really what I'm gonna base today on is that particular technique. Great. Okay, and there's kind of a format to how that should be done. Okay. Okay? So first thing is gonna have a look and see how you do it. Okay. Okay? Yeah. okay. So basically today we're gonna use um well I've had. Okay. I'm gonna use a program called Uber Sense, okay? Uh, there's loads of different problems, this one I particularly like because it's you have a slow technique down, you have to have a look at yourself, you have to compare yourself to other athletes doing techniques. So it's, it, it's a good way of even yourself for recording how you get on, how the techniques improve. We'll also use this as we go through different weeks to look back at where you start, what's improved. And a lot of the stuff you'll see yourself, it won't be all done to me. Okay? Okay. Um, so firstly I'm going to get you just to do the technique. Yeah. I'm going to record it and then we'll have a look and we'll have a chat then. Okay? Great. Right then. Okay, then we're ready, ready. Okay. Okay, there you go. Good. Okay, so. Okay. There. Just gonna go through it now and have a look at what you did yourself, okay? So from here, let's play. So it's quite good technique then. I'm just going to compare it now to. Um, and lead at it. Have a look at someone doing the elite part. Okay, Glenn, have a look at what you've done there. I will determine if you'll be an elite athlete. And in particular with that technique, you have the kicking ability, you have the skills, the flexibility. So we can we can build on that very much so. We get you up to Raymond Daniel level. <laughs> okay, no issues. So just gonna have a look at this uh, elite athlete perform the same technique, okay? Okay, so having a look at that now in comparison with your own one, okay? And I want you to try to see if you can see slight comparisons to your technique or something maybe you could improve on, okay? So I'm just going to compare the two of them, okay? Okay, so here, move this on a little bit. Just to just get them going at the same time. Yeah. And this is the beauty of this technology is that we can pick out in a fight even, in a fight scenario, you can go straight to whatever point of a fight you want to have a look at and see where, where our strengths and weaknesses lie. Okay, so, yeah, should be just about ready to go. Okay. Okay, just have to do a sec.
Okay. So we're going to have a look at two of them together, okay? Yeah. And watch it again, see how it goes. Okay, so Gwen, just going to stop it there for a sec. Can you see any kind of slight differences there? Yeah, there's a couple. Um, the elite athlete seems to be moving off before he actually kicks. Yeah. I'm kind of static and that I'm just throwing the kick and that's probably where I'm getting caught all the time. Mm. You're, the, the guy in the bottom is moving off before he actually throws the kick, he steps off, also he's leaning back. So he's, he's out of the way, the punch just kind of makes sense while I'm getting caught. So, yeah, so if you, if you imagine if you've got two fighters and they're this far apart, yeah. and we lean back, what's that create? Space. And that's what, that's what fighting's doing, it's that space and that distance. So that's one of the things I'm going to aim on today, okay? I also want you to have a look at that, your own technique there. Um, and we're just going to compare, we're just going to have a look at the height of the kick as well, okay? Yeah. Okay, so just have a look at this video again and just, you're perfect, you're bang on with the head, head movement and the body space, that, that's absolutely exact, very important part of this technique. Yeah. Another part would be the, the height at which you're kicking, okay? Okay. Okay, so just have a look here at these two again. And just if you compare both of them, what can you see in the height of the kick? The, the guy, the elite athlete was kicking a little bit higher, he's more chest height, I'm yeah. kicking towards the stomach and the kind of waist. Yeah. So, Remember what we said about this technique, and it was you that called it a, a stop and side kick. Yeah, yeah. So if you that's want to stop a force, there, yeah. yeah, okay. So that's, you know, again, it's that height and that kick, hugely important, okay? Yeah. Um, so, two things to have a look at. One, first one. Is, is creating space, moving, leaning back, and okay. moving off first. And the second part is the trajectory of the kick, aiming for his chest rather than his, his waist. Okay. Excellent. Okay, so I'm going to have you go with that now and we'll record that and see what improvements are. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Okay, Glenn. So we're going to have a go at two pointers already. Um, space. And um, trying to kick and fire towards the chest. And how are you creating space? By moving back. Moving back towards my feet and leaning back. Excellent. Okay. And so take those two things into account when we go, okay? Okay. Ready? Yeah. Go. Okay. 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 Come back in for a moment and have a quick look at this. Okay. So that's a good height in the kick. Yeah, you can really see I'm, I'm actually out of shot because I've, I've gone so far. I'm yeah, creating a lot very good, yeah. And you can see here, look, you're leaning back. So look at the distance between this. So yeah, if, this, yeah. if this guy was blitzing, you're out there. You're not there anymore. That gives you the opportunity to deliver the kick. Yeah, okay. That's the biggest thing with your Glenn. That's the, if we can get this head out of the way, you can pull people and it creates, as you said, the space, the distance, okay? Yeah. So that's really important. Um, how do you feel about that? I think it's really good. It's actually great to see myself and see the, the distance I'm, I'm creating. And okay. It was, I wasn't creating as much distance as I do thought. Do you believe now you might be able to do Raymond Daniels kick next week? Maybe a little work, maybe. Okay, very good. No, it's a, it, it won't take that much, okay? You have all the assets, you have all the skills. We just need to work on and realise what we're working on. So I'm going to give you a programme now, Glenn, that's going to set that in place. And you have to work on that. And we're going to use this Uber Sense and use a video analysis to improve you. Great. Okay, so I'm going to have a chat with you. I'll show you a programme set okay, out for you, okay? Glenn, so we'll come to the end of our session, okay? And um, talk to me about the process and how you've seen today. Um, it was it's very good to be able to see the, the kind of, see yourself back on video versus kind of what you thought you were doing. Like, I realised that I wasn't leaning back near as much as I was. It's just, it's, it's a bit different when you see yourself in video, it's kind of like visual proof. True. Yeah, that's not yeah. right. And that is, it's a visual proof, no matter what a coach tells you or anything else tells you, it's very hard to actually feel when you know about it. Yeah. There's a certain feeling of technique. When you get it right, you put it back there, so it's like, yeah, you hit the back part much different. Yeah. But we can build on that, you know, we can work on that. So, look at what you've done today, look at your, your, all, your skill set, really. we've just, as we're talking about that problem, I think we need to develop, you know, the movement backwards yeah. and uh, the height of the kick. Okay, so a couple of things to work on over the next couple of weeks. When is your next training session? What's your training schedule like? Um, Mondays and Wednesdays we train. Okay, so what I'm going to do is if you can work on this program, okay, over the next month, yeah. okay, and a month from today, would that suit you? Yeah. We yeah. come back here, 
Uh, we, we go at the same time, if that's okay. Yeah, that's sure. But at the same time, in between that, you're going to work on this program. Okay. So the program involves a normal sidekick to, to, to develop that height. Yeah. Okay. Your defensive sidekick working on a pad or a shield with a partner. Okay. Then I want you to take that into sparring. So you're doing a drum rounds. Don't get frustrated if it doesn't work all the time. It's about developing the technique and the process of developing the technique. Okay. All right. Yeah. And then you've already pointed out the two biggest points. That was you to pick, pick those points out, not yeah. me. You picked them, you noticed them, and you can develop them, okay? And then I need you to record these sessions. Okay. okay. Have you a facility to record? Um, how would you want it? Like, just send you a video, email me a video? Se- well, there's, there's several choices. Best thing is probably make up a YouTube channel, or have you heard of Ustream? No. Well, Ustream is something that we can use, particularly because you're training indoors, you're training in a hall, you have Wi-Fi. You can train, do a session, and I can be watching the session. I can look at my video and maybe give you a ring afterwards and say, listen, Glenn, excellent, done this, right, done that. And maybe just a little pointer to, to develop it as you go along for the month, rather than just being a month between us seeing each other. All right, yeah. So we'll definitely set up a YouTube, YouTube, set up your own YouTube channel, okay? Yeah. I'll give you, I'll send you an email actually on how to set up a YouTube channel, just to make it it's very, very simple, okay? Okay. If I can do it, anyone can do it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we get that going. And then we work on this program over next month. You put a bit of effort into this, come back and we see where we go from there. Definitely. We'll have you kicking around like Raymond Daniels in no time. Thanks very much. Great job today, well done today, very good. Thanks.